Hello and thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technology including Python programming, machine learning, cloud computing and similar. Today we're going to look at a utility, a command line utility called AZ Copy, which essentially allows us to copy between cloud and uh, your local system or also between clouds. It's a command line utility and it can be used to copy blobs or files between a certain source and destination. Today we're going to learn about it and uh, we'll also show you a tutorial uh, how we can uh, upload and download files between your local computer and cloud. So I'm going to keep it very simple and just going to exchange a few files uh, and the typical use cases that I need to upload a file into uh, a storage uh, account in Azure and then uh, at some time I also want to download that file um, back into my local computer. So we're just uh, uh, basing our tutorial on that uh, simple use case. Uh, now uh, in order to authenticate itself it can either use SAS which is shared access signature or OAuth uh, which is mostly uh, Active Directory. Uh, for this tutorial, to keep it simple, we'll be using SAS uh, to send and receive a file. It's easier to set up and you can also specify a certain time uh, during which you allow access to that resource. Um, recommendation is to use Active Directory um, or Azure Active Directory whenever possible, but to make this tutorial uh, simple and easy, uh, we go ahead with um, uh, AZ copy using SAS which is shared access signature. So uh, to get started uh, we'll be uh, downloading a copy of AZ copy. Uh, the most latest version is version 10. You can see I'm already on that page and uh, which says get started with AZ copy. It's a Microsoft page and you can download uh, for your Windows, Linux or Mac OS uh, machines. Um, I've already done that. I've uh, installed it and I'm actually using PowerShell. You can use uh, command DOS prompt. It should work the same way. So what I've done here is I've um, navigated to that directory location where my AZ copy download is and all it is is a executable file. So you just need to run it. No installation required. So if I do a directory, you can see that the AZ copy executable uh, lies here in this uh, directory folder. Okay, so uh, what we need to do here is um, on the cloud side, we need to create a storage account and you know get started from there. So if I come to my uh, Azure account uh, and I go to storage accounts, as you can see, I've already created a storage account for this uh, particular tutorial. It's called AZ Copy Storage 999, some random number. Uh, earlier I had selected AZ Copy Tutorial um, and uh, it, it did not validate because it was it said already owned or already in use. So make sure you select uh, a name that matches uh, your uh, use case as well as um, uh, it, that is unique and then you can go ahead and use it. So that's the storage account. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I can create a container inside this. So if we go here, if, if I click into the storage account, you can see um, it's already there. And if I click containers, I already have a container called Infoverse Blob 1. So let me just click into that. And you can see it's got some, it's got a directory and it's got uh, two files. One is a text file, one is a JPG. And if I click into the uh, directory you see I have a bunch of files so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another container uh, within our storage account and I show you how to do that and also uh, upload these uh, files once I've uploaded these files and directory into uh, this container I will then show you how to download them uh, into our local account okay so that's the containers you can see I just have in perverse blob so let me just uh, bring up the PowerShell 
and like I said you can use either it really doesn't matter but I'm just using it um, I have it running here okay now let me just um, start with the uh, the syntax for creating a container so the syntax is let me just copy it here I'm not going to run it I'm just going to show you what is the so it's easy copy that's the executable right here uh, make so you're telling uh, easy copy that you create a container and here in in uh, we have the storage account name blob dot core dot windows dot net so that's the whole um, syntax that you will get um, and you need to be able to point to that uh, storage account and then the container name uh, followed by after this question mark you have the SAS that token uh, that you will generate and once you run this it should create a container with this name so let's let me just uh, clear this and uh, I just want to also show you that if I go back into uh, how I got the SAS that's also important to know so once in the storage account I can click on SAS or the shared share shared access signature and uh, you can see there's a bunch of um, uh, the information that you can select so and I can also select the time period so I can give uh, a client a certain uh, maybe a day or two days or two weeks to be able to use this signature to access this so it, it's also very granular control that you can get with SAS so let's say if I select service here you can see that now it it is enabled and when I click on that it will give me uh, a it will generate an SAS string which I can copy and then use in my command line so I'm not going to do that I've already uh, created that so let me just go back and back into the storage account and let's look at the container so as you can see we just have a container infoverse blob one from earlier um, and let me now just try and run that command so I showed you the syntax what I what I'm gonna do is now I have that uh, written here I'm just gonna copy that and also show you what really it means so it's uh, the AZ copy make and we have the HTTPS this I got from uh, the cloud once that uh, uh, storage account is created you can see that this is what I'm adding so info was blob 2 I already have blob 1 I'm adding blob 2 and after the question mark you have that full um, SAS to token which you will copy in uh, in a se you know separate or safe location and then just add to this command line so once that I'm sure that um, it looks good I'm going to run this and let me just make sure that it runs okay okay so successfully created the resource that's good news let's go here and do a refresh and you can see that um, we got Infoverse blob 2 and it, it's empty because uh, we haven't copied anything as yet so let's copy a file into this container so again the syntax is very similar let me just copy it here so syntax is easy copy copy source file so source designates wherever your file that you want to copy is located you have to specify the whole path and then in parenthesis storage account name dot blob dot core dot windows the container name and your SAS token so again uh, very similar uh, once you use it once it's very uh, very easy to reuse this um, command in the token and that's exactly what I'm doing I just make some small changes and I'm able to rerun this uh, command and uh, not have to really type it out okay so to be able to copy that file let me just paste uh, what I have already created so I'm just gonna write it here so AZ copy what I'm doing is from my users as of downloads page uh, there's a file called truck.jpg 
and I'm going to copy it to my storage account slash with the SAS token. So let's run that. So you can see I have to specify the whole path. So as of users, that's that's my path on my local computer with with that file. So let's run that. Okay, let's see. Okay, so no, total number of transfers was one and number of transfers completed is one. That's good news as well. So let me just bring it here and I hope I use the Infoverse blob too. Yeah, you can see it there. That was the correct container. So let's, it should, we should see the file here. Great, right? So uh, we successfully copied that file. Let me copy another file and I'll show you the location. Um, if I do a, where I have the AZ copy, if I do a directory, you see I have another notice.txt that came uh, with this uh, AZ copy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat that command, but instead of that um, file in my downloads folder, I'm going to copy that file from here. So again, AZ copy, copy, uh, and now you have the users as of downloads and you have the path where I download that zip file then it open it create another folder and that's again easy windows amd64 and that's the notice.txt that you see here right so i'm actually pointing to that file and i have to give the whole path in order to be able to access that and then the rest is uh, very similar i'm pointing to the infoverse blob 2 that's the second container we just created and appended with the sas string so um, everything looks good let's run that okay it's transferring so again uh, the total number of transfers completed is one that's good news as well so let's go and check that so you see I was able to successfully uh, transfer that or copy that notice.txt over to uh, this container now there's also a possibility to copy a whole directory so let's see how we can do that and what's the syntax. So let me just copy it here. So the syntax is as follows. Um, AZ copy uh, directory on local computer and then storage account name dot blob followed by the uh, SAS token and here you have the directory name. So. Uh, Sorry, just please uh, ignore that that um, those those red uh, warning. Actually, I just need to um, put a uh, you know uh, a dot and a forward slash to indicate that I'm running it from from this uh, location. Uh, so once uh, we we do that, we can actually copy all the contents of that name uh, and into the uh, container. So let's see uh, how we can do that. Let me just bring it here, make a copy, okay, and once I copy it here, sorry about that, let me just clean this up a bit, okay, let's write that. So here dot uh, forward slash az copy, copy, what I'm doing is the downloads and I have an AZ copy demo DIR so that's a uh, that's a folder in my downloads uh, um, directory and I'm going to copy that whole folder into the same uh, infoverse blob 2 container and I need to add recursive equals true uh, which uh, would ensure that all the files all anything that's within that folder will also be copied over. So if you just go back quickly to Infoverse Blob 1, you notice that that's the directory that we're talking about and it's got, um, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five files in, in that uh, folder. So uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we are copying that same f uh, directory and you'll see once it's copied, it will include those uh, five or six files that we see here in Infoverse Blob 1. So the command looks uh, good. Let me just double check. So <clears throat> that's my source directory 
and that's the destination directory block two uh, sorry the container and then I'm ensuring recursive equals true which will copy everything in that uh, folder structure so let's run that and um, fingers crossed hopefully it uh, should run fine the command syntax looks good okay so number of transfers completed five that's great so let's go here and we notice that now it's um, uh, when we refreshed it's updated and shows that az copy demo dir the directory and you know voila it it has those uh, files so uh, adding that recursive uh, equals true uh, flag ensured that we were able to copy all the contents of that of a particular directory now uh, let's also quickly look at uh, so we uploaded a file uh, we uploaded a directory let's see how we can actually download a file right so that's a very valid use case I've uploaded some files I've done some processing perhaps and it's created a uh, another file or, or a result and I need to get that back into my local computer so uh, what's the syntax in in effect we're just reversing what we've been doing for a copy so if you see the syntax it's az copy copy so HTTPS the so first the source becomes now the cloud uh, location the storage account and the container and you know uh, don't forget uh, we have to append the SAS signature there and the destination becomes our local computer in this case right so we, we simply reverse the and the the flow so now from cloud I'm downloading that file or copying that file from the cloud to my local computer so let's see how that would run let me just uh, remove this and let me bring that command up and we will double check that to ensure that it's correct okay oh sorry I uh, I accidentally ran that so uh, anyway it says total number of transfers one total number of transfers completed one that's good news so let me just quickly go over that so uh, the az command copy uh, I'm specifying the the full uh, storage account in the slash uh, container which is blob2 and then forward by the file that I want to get which is struct.jpg uh, appended with the SAS signature and the, this is the destination part and I'm specifying copy it uh, here um, on my local disk and in the same if you can recognize it's the same location where the AZ copy uh, uh, is also installed so uh, that ran uh, successfully so if I just do a directory here you notice that uh, previously we had the az copy exec uh, executable and the notice.txt files and now we also have the truck.jpg which we, we were successfully able to download <coughs> from the cloud so uh, thank you very much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial and um, I will follow it up with uh, uh, a tutorial uh, on, on Linux so this was uh, AZ copy running on Windows I will follow up with uh, AZ copy running on Linux and I also want to have uh, create another uh, couple of more tutorials which shows how you can use uh, Active Directory um, Azure Active Directory to be able to uh, perform these same uh, copy and download uh, functionalities because SAS is great but um, um, recommended re recommended option is to use Azure um, Active Directory whenever possible it's more uh, secure um, and uh, you know it, it's best practice as well so thank you very much thank you for watching